Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Charm, season number two, episode number four, Deconstructing Harry. It's also directed by um, Kenneth um, Fink. In this episode here you have, well, you have, you have Macy, Abigail, who's the half-demon, and Mel. They pretty much team up together and they're pretty much trying to find um, um, something that they need to pretty much help them Fight off, get the demons and all that other stuff too. But the thing is, though, they, they need this. Um, they need the help of this demon girl, half demon girl, who they don't really trust, but they need her help because she she has information that they need. So they gotta go to this place together because Macy doesn't really trust her. Mel doesn't trust her either, and, and Mel doesn't trust Macy alone with her. And then you know, Macy thinks she can do everything by herself. Oh, and but so 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 they go on a mission together. And even though Macy doesn't trust Abigail, she also has things in common with her too, because she's also had demon inside of her as well. She's also, but she's a, she's a witch and a demon, and she has a human and a demon. So therefore, they got things in common. And then you also then you have what's going on with Maggie, and she's pretty much trying to help Jordan get up and like um get this position in a certain job that he, that he needs to help him, to help him stay there. Because she feels guilty that she pretty much used magic to cheat and win and get the and get the promotion that that, that he that he deserves. Cause she she knows nothing, but she used magic to help her out, and so now she's feeling bad about that, and so now she's trying to help him out, help him, help him, so she can, so he can stay. And at the same time, she she had a vision, and she's trying to figure out what's going on. How did she get it? Which I think has something to do with that ring. I'm not so sure. It, it, it didn't really go into that, cause they focused on his ring. And then you know, she touched him. Then she had a vision. So I don't know if that's connected or not. Or I, I just could be just thinking about things. It could be I could be wrong here, but yeah, that's that. You have, then you have Harry, even though the show is pretty focused on, talks about him, it doesn't really focus on him that much, which is kind of weird, because the show is called Deconstructing Harry, but yeah, it doesn't really focus on Harry. It does, he does have his own little side mission, where he has to, um, um, he's trying to figure out what's going on, he's trying to figure out what's going on, the, the double game situation, all stuff like that too, and he found, he found exactly out why, um, his, um, who, who, who the other, 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 um, the evil version of him actually is it's actually just him, and it looks like maybe the maybe the uh, um the guardians like like, like, like spin him up, like the, the, to a good half and a dark half. So they're pretty much the same person. It's, it's just split, they just it's just it's, just, it's, it's actually just him. He's fighting himself. It's just it's, 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 it's just was split apart. If he found that out too. So overall, um, I thought the episode was fine. I don't like the whole safe place. Building and, and the people there. I only don't, I don't, I don't like that whole storyline. How, how they added all, all, all these other people there and stuff. Their inside their world. I like the better when they were separate, doing their own thing. And still now, now, now they gotta work alongside these regular people in this stupid environment, which I, I which I don't like. Because the thing is though, as soon as she said, as soon as like, you got Maggie saying, "Oh, oh, it's my new office," and then the girl, that girl came in and said, "Oh, so we don't call them offices. We don't let people flip." I said, "Oh, Lordy, this is so stupid. Why? Why?" I wish, I wish that, now the story that they're doing, I think, I find it very interesting, and the whole thing with them not having their powers and trying to, um, work, work, um, use their, their skills that they have without their powers to pretty much fight, save the day. It's, the interesting thing about this, though, the thing is, though, I think it's kind of funny and, and kind of stupid at the same time, it's like, they, you never really saw them train with their magic. You never, you barely saw them read the book, barely saw them studying, but yet, they seem to, they seem to, um, remember, the book has been destroyed, and you got and you got a uh, male be able to create all these different ingredients from the book that from the shadow that she that she learned. I think this when 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 she when they learn all this stuff, but but it's still interesting at the same time too. Watches them without their powers, use their abilities. I still don't like the fact that that um, Macy still trying to do everything by herself, which which I it's, I, I don't like because she's she supposed to be part of the sisters. They, they're a team, but working together to save the day. And she, cause even though she, even though she, she's the only one who actually does have actual powers. She doesn't, she doesn't have complete control over them, and she does, she can't use them to the fullest. And so, and she, but she still thinks she's like she, she can do everything on her own. She doesn't need her sisters. She says, keep, you stay over there. I'll handle it. I'll do this. I'll die. Just like chick, you got sisters now. I mean, I get it. She grew up by herself. She grew up without a family, so she didn't have that bond like like, like um. Like um, Mel and Maggie had, because they pretty much grew up together, and she pretty much did everything on her own to get where she was. She came very successful without her sisters. So now she, th so now that she has sisters, now she still got that mindset: I'm the only child syndrome thing going on, which I don't like. I, 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 I hope that she that she gets past that, but I guess it's all habits are die hard. I mean, it's, that's how you've been all your life. I guess it's hard to just cut it off and say, like, I got sisters now. Yeah, so. In some way, some way, I do. I I I understand that, but at the same time, I don't like it. 
I don't like it either. But I, I, I did enjoy the show. Um, you, you can't know more about um about Abigail and her past and all stuff like that too. Um, Mel, ha um, um, Mel had an interesting thing going on when she um when she pretty much helped, helped, um faced faced this monster they were going they were, they were going they were going after, which probably could have got her killed. But she was everything as though she was so busy trying to prove to Abigail that she don't need her that she don't listen to her that she, she almost got herself killed doing something. It did work out in the end, but still, it was crazy. So even though the show didn't focus on Harry, you still got to know more about his, a little bit more about him and his situation and his whole and his whole double. So that, that, that's pretty. I was okay. That was okay. So overall, I would say the best episode I've seen, I've ever seen. But I, I, I still didn't enjoy it. I still didn't enjoy it. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Charmed. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So keep my channel below, like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make 100,000 subscribers. Help me on my journey to get there. And all those who have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.